right, approaching the K-Way Holiday in Sugarloaf Key. Got an entrance only area where you pull up to check in. Little dog pad right there. There is the registration office. South Tower that is almost done being constructed. There will be four person and six person sleeping units for rent. There is a minimum number of nights. Keep that in mind when booking. And we're gonna drive around and show you guys basically the layout. The sites vary in type and length. These are some back end sites on the right and these are some pull through sites on the left. There is a lot of landscaping that was added after the hurricane in 2017. This right here is where there's a laundry room, the store, the cafe is inside the store. Behind that fence is where the pub is overlooking the pool and a recreation area. And we'll get some of that footage later. Over here is the North Tower, still being worked on. They do have an alert when you're booking on your website about the construction, but probably if you have the ability to do select my site and pick a site farther away from the towers being constructed, you enjoy your stay a little bit more. Over there is the bridge to US 1. Once you get over the bridge, you make an immediate left at the first turn directly across from Mangrove Mamas. Over here is the marina. That's where you can rent paddle boats, uh, regular boats, canoes, kayaks. The employee area is right over there. So there is the marina. They're doing some work on the electric poles out there. They have pontoon boats that are available for rent. Extra parking for vehicles right over here. see the boat ramp right there where the pedal bikes are located for rent. All the kayaks and paddle boards and such. Of course you can bring your own. There is a launch fee and there are slips for rent. Over here is the waterfront sites. So these are back ends but they back up to the little makeshift and then there is walkways in between as you can see and we'll walk up there these are pull throughs right through here so here is the beachfront area as you can see, somebody has pulled up in their little kayak. There's some people enjoying the beach. There's some playground equipment in the water. So this KOA is not super kid friendly. They don't have a basketball court or tennis court or playground. They count this inflatable water equipment as a playground. Um, there's not really any green space for kids to play. There's not really any kid activities. The KOA does host activities like tequila and trivia on Thursday nights and uh, bingo on Wednesday nights. And then they have live music almost every day of the week over there inside the pool enclosure that again, we'll look at later. These all face the water and our pull throughs. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we are taking this video in April of 2023 and about a month ago there was a water main break at mile marker 92. If you guys aren't aware of it, all the water in the Keys is pumped down through the Aqueduct Authority from Miami and so for the next year while they work on the pipeline there will be reduced water pressure for the entire Keys and there's nothing anybody can do about that. These sites right here are back ends, but they are uh, kayak launch sites. So behind these customer sites, you'll see there's a little cut in the mangroves that you can squish out on the mud and go launch your kayak. And the 
little booze there, and then we get into back and perimeter sites. So you back up to the mangrove, so there's no one behind you over there. I find these sites to be a little bit wider than the other sites too, and a little bit deeper. Um, over here, we've got some more standard back end sites. As you can see, everybody gets a picnic table and a fire ring. Um, we do have a couple premium sites that have a brick patio. Those are the ADA accessible sites. Got some storage containers over here for the towers being built and their things. So this is now the tent site area. Oh, there's the boats, trailer storage. You can pay to store your trailer here while you're on site. These tent sites do have some dirt in the foliage behind them where you could put your tent. However, most people opt to put it on the cement pad, weight it down with the sandbags. There is the exit, and then you can get your propane filled here. There is a little dog park with AstroTurf right there. And then this facing the tent area is the large laundry house. The laundry is in the middle. It's pretty filled up with machines. Uh, pretty inexpensive, 225 a load, about the same to dry. And then there's large men and women's showers and bathrooms right here. The store uh, that we passed that has the cafe has a small bathroom with showers, but there's only two showers and like three or four stalls in each one by the pool. your exit onto 939. Many people choose to walk their dogs out there as opposed to being in the dog park. Please remember if you're visiting with your dog to clean up after yourself and don't leave your dogs unattended anywhere except your own camper. Do you have a large problem with that here I would say. There's some more pull throughs. These are in the 500 row and they're a little bit shorter than the pull throughs in the 200 row. I would say if you have a bigger rig, try to find either the eight or 900 pull throughs, which are the ones facing the water that we drove past, or those perimeter back ends that we initially drove past that back up to the mangroves, that would be ideal for a much larger rig. There's two sewer points on each site and they are raised off the rocks because of hurricane code for flooding. And Power, cable, the internet here is honestly better than inter any internet at any K-Way or campground we've stayed at or worked at. It's been fantastic. Um, about every other site has a router. There's a good view of that south tower up there. Super nice finishes, a uh, good view of the water, but they are going to be paying for it. But they do have a washer and dryer in there. They do have a full kitchenette, full bathroom. So like a little condo. The parking is underneath. And then we will head over to the store and give you some footage of the pool area. You know, maybe we can come in the back of the pool area and walk through. about 50% occupied, 60% occupied today, so there's not a whole lot of traffic. And again, like I said, this KOA typically caters to older adults or um, couples that don't have children. So there's not a whole lot of kids out on the, ride, on the roads riding bikes typically, unless it's a big holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving there was. Um, spring break there was, a couple families with kids. But generally the clientele here is more adult. So there's that boat ramp that we passed earlier and we are headed up into the recreation area. So pool area, important that there's no glass back here so nobody gets hurt, no animals, no smoking, so everybody can have fun. We've got bocce ball right here and then we've got some hammocks. Over here is bags. Uh, little seating area over there with a propane uh, fire pit for everybody to enjoy. Kind of little alcove there. Over here we've got the hot tub. Biggest one I've ever seen. Definitely warm enough. And then we've got the pool area. 
which leads up to the pub area. And I would say that I've worked at a couple and none of them have been this nice with the finishes and the seating areas and the pool area. This, they put a lot of money into this. So this is the pub area. They do all kinds of mixed drinks and beer. We have the best bartenders here. If you come down to see us, this is Kim and there's Ashley and they'll be happy to help you. Make sure you tip your bartenders. Having a setup for a ice cream social. They're going to be raising money for care camps out there. Uh, they do a couple other things like s'mores on Wednesdays, a pancake breakfast every other Saturday, um, a cookout every other Saturday. It all takes place in this area right here. Lots of TVs so you can see your game. Over there, the rolling doors have plastic that comes down in inclement weather so we can still enjoy the area. And then we are going to enter the cafe. So this is the main cafe area. They have a ton of food that you can purchase. Hamburgers, pizza, breakfast sandwiches, all kinds of good stuff. Over here, they have all their retail, some drinks and ice cream, lots of little souvenir stuff, RV basics, all kinds of stuff from local artists. Don't forget to get your key lime pie on a stick. Come out into this area at the front of the cafe. Lots of seating and they do allow dogs up here as long as they're well behaved and leashed to hang out with their owners as long as they're not going in the building or back by the pool area. Here is some footage. We'll just pop in, take a quick look at the machines there. handicap parking but all the other parking has to be back where we passed by the marina or you just leave your vehicle on site it does look big on the video but k-way really isn't that big so you should have no problem ambulating from one end to the other and then we've got the showers and the restrooms <laughs> And I am not gonna go in the marina for you guys because it's basically the same stuff as the store, um, minus the rental stuff for the snorkels and the boats and all that. All that pricing information they have out there also, I believe it is on the website when you book, but you could always give them a call and ask to be transferred to the marina and they'd be happy to do it. I do believe there are no reservations on the boats, however. I think it's a first come first serve and they rent them by the day or by the half day all the other equipment such as the paddle boards the canoe the kayaks uh, little view swimmers all that stuff is by the hour same with the pedal bikes as far as dining other than the cafe there's not too much to eat right here with everybody asked about stuff in walking distance mangrove mamas across the street i would not recommend except for their alcohol for happy hour cheapest drinks around but Honestly, the food, not good. They've had a couple run-ins with the health department. Not good, would not recommend. And you don't wanna walk on US-1. So if you're coming down here, make sure you have an Uber or Lyft account so that you can work on that. Or, you know, bring your vehicle with you or be prepared to pull your motor home around. If you're going to Key West, the roads are super old and slim. So keep that in mind when taking your vehicle down there too. I have a truck with an eight foot bed and it is just not compatible with Key West at all or any of the public parking that's hard to find out there. But here's our little fishing area. As you can see the water, crystal clear. Our little island right here. Definitely if you're, you know, you haven't been, I would highly recommend coming out here some good places to eat around here. I mean, we've got Broil right down the street, awesome steakhouse. Boondocks has mini golf and American cuisine. There's a couple little uh, mom and pops places sprinkled along US-1 that are good, but most of your main dining is gonna be out in Key West. And other than fishing charters and drinking, there is not a whole lot to do other than the beach out here in the Keys. 
And if you have any questions, drop them below. We'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, this was Sugarloaf Key West KOA Holiday. And it is April of 2023, about 89 degrees with the heat index and mildly breezy. Hope to see you soon.